Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Ron's Keto Cafe and I'm Ron. Well, if you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps uh, my channel grow. And uh, thank you for all the uh, new subscribers. Well, today I've been getting the uh, really bad taste for a shepherd's pie. But here's what the problem is. Traditionally, it's made with corn and it's made with potatoes. And uh, since I'm really being vigilant this month because it's fast approaching our third year anniversary, I wanted to have shepherd's pie. So as a potato substitute, I went out to the local farm. And since we're in the summer season, I was able to get a humongous uh, couple of zucchini. I only used one of them. I probably would have been better off to try to use the both of them. But I, I was fine with the one. So what I did was I cut off both ends and I cubed it all up. And then I fried up a pound of ground beef or about a pound and a half. Once I got that crank and I added some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, about a tablespoon of each. And actually about a half a tablespoon. And then once I had the ground beef all uh, cubed up and stuff, I laid it out in, in a casserole uh, pan. And then I added a cup of uh, mixed vegetables from a Hannifer. And even though it had a little corn and carrots in it, it's only a bit of minimal. It's not going to matter. Cause, and then the uh, I, once I cubed up the zucchini, I got it going on the... Uh, top of the stove there in the saucepan with some water and some salt and then I emptied it out and I added uh, I started mashing it and it was really really watery because I, I don't think I drained it enough so it but anyways I took the extra content water out of there and then I added a little parmesan cheese in it maybe about a cup only to um, to dry up some of the uh, liquid and then I, I mashed it up a little bit of butter and salt pepper obviously and then I Put it on the top of the uh, casserole dish and then I uh, pour little tablespoons of butter on top of the uh, the uh, zucchini and then I added a little bit of uh, paprika for the uh, just for coloring and now that's in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes and then uh, when that's done it's nice and golden brown we'll pop it out take a plate of it and we'll uh, snapshot a photograph with a thumbnail and we'll talk about it and uh, give you my taste test but um, you know when you try to lose weight you you got to have to be creative to try to um, uh, get your macros under control and uh, that's basically what I'm doing now we got to are pushing off one more month to go right we're exactly one month uh, well 17th of uh, August is when I started my weight loss and I weighed myself in this morning I went to like 230 pounds and uh, you know, but it's still, I, I, in three years' time, I managed to take off uh, 147 pounds. And since August, I took off 100 pounds and I managed to maintain it. So I think I'm doing phenomenally well. I mean, the only thing that's stopping me right now, guys, is just the fact is, uh, again, this morning I woke up and I did the concert last night at the Colonial Band at Carter Park. And uh, my feet are bleeding and they're cracking again. And I got another appointment coming up at the foot doctor again at the end of the month. And I'm going to see if they'll investigate it a little further. If I, I, I need an answer and a solution to this because this is unacceptable. And uh, I don't want to be in a wheelchair because I can't walk with psoriasis and black, uh, cracked and bleeding feet. So that, those are some of my battles. And, uh, you know, it set me in a really bad depression a few months ago there. I don't want to get back into that depression again. So, you know, I'm doing the best I can to try to maintain and keep the weight down. And, uh, and that's why I hadn't been able to get out there and get much exercise in because of that. But, uh, you know, when you're walking and it feels like it's, you're walking on glass because your, your skin is uh, pulling like this. And as it's pulling, you, you feel your feet and, and wet and that wet is blood. That's how bad they are, you know. And, and uh, I'm just getting tired of it, fed up with it. So I'm just dealing with it the best I can one day at a time. And again, hope tomorrow is better than yesterday. The nice thing about last night is usually I take a nap late in the afternoon. I didn't yesterday. And when I got down to the uh, concert center, cameras all up and stuff, I got home and I edited, I, well, I got ready to edit the video and then I uh, shut it down and went to bed and I slept pretty solid right up to three o'clock. And then I've been up ever since. And the, the, the concert video is done, I just gotta bring it back to the studio maybe later today. So I, could, so I don't wanna have to go back down there later. And uh, yeah, so that's what we got going on. So we're gonna come back as soon as that's done, we'll have a little plate sample together and uh, let you know how it tastes. And, uh, but I love zucchini, you know, it's a good vegetable. I got an extra big chunk of zucchini. Tomorrow I'm gonna to take it and I'm gonna slice it up thin. And I'm gonna um, put a little bit of butter on it, melted butter, and I'm gonna put garlic powder, onion powder. Maybe I'll just mix it up with a little bit of avocado oil. 
you put some garlic powder on it and onion powder on it and bake it off in the oven until it's nice and golden crunchy in the air fryer probably that's probably be better and then I'm planning on making some steak tomorrow but anyways uh, yeah don't forget to like share subscribe but we'll come back and talk about the uh, zucchini when I have it done and uh, finished <laughs> Hey guys, so today we're going to be making a shepherd's pie. So what we got going on here, we got uh, ground beef hamburger, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, everything to taste. And once you get that fried up, we're going to put it in a casserole dish. I'm going to use probably about a cup of uh, mixed vegetables. I know that's got corn in it, but that's fine. We're not going to use that much. And also for our topping, instead of using potatoes, we're going to make a mash, but not just any mash. We're going to make a mash using zucchini. Look at how huge that is, zucchini is. I got it at the local farm. $2.45 for a pound, but I got two of these. And one of them I'm going to use with a side dish for a vegetable tomorrow. But uh, we're going to boil the uh, zucchini up. And uh, we're not going to peel it. You can peel it if you want to, but the peels are really good to have. And that background noise you're hearing is the air conditioning and my cat playing. What I did too, I put about a couple of tablespoons of oil in here, the avocado oil. So we got our squared pan that we're going to be using for to make our shepherd's pie today. Our ground beef is done. Just take it and put a little bit in here, whatever I think. I might use it all, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we just use it all. About a pound, a little bit over a pound of ground beef. And that's our 2080 ground chuck. And we're going to take about a cup of vegetables out of here. You got one cup of vegetables, dump it right on top, mix it right in. So that's going to be our base for our shepherd's pie. So now let's get the uh, zucchini cut and cubed and then we're going to get boiling on that. Okay, so we got our zucchini cleaned and rinsed. We're just going to cut off the ends and get rid of that. Let me do it the long way, I'm thinking. Maybe cut it in half.
See how I cut that straight through? It almost didn't cut a little bit. I'll put these together. Well, the last time I did this with the zucchini, I, the video didn't record for some reason. If you get down to the end like that, be careful. It's just a rough chop. Like I said, we're going to take the, and I love zucchini by the way. It's a really good, clean, healthy vegetable for keto, any weight loss program. Do it this way. It's a lot safer doing it that way. up some of the bigger pieces so they'll uh, cook a little faster. Got a cat that's going bonkers right now. Seems to think I have a three ring circus in the house. So I'm just cutting these up a little cube size chunks here to make it uh, so they'll cook a lot better. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and mash these with a little bit of butter and heavy whipping cream. So I'm just going to go ahead and start putting my zucchini in that's been chopped and we're going to we left the peels on today. I'm going to uh, use a spoon so I don't uh, burn myself. zucchini is done so now let's move that over to the sink and drain it you see our zucchini is nice and cooked so now let's get our mash going so we're going to take a little bit of uh, parmesan cheese just dump it right in we're going to eyeball about a half of a cup About a quarter of a stick of butter. This is the curry gold butter. Okay. And then we're going to use some heavy cream. About a half a cup. Eyeballing it. If I need more, I'll add more. And then we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on top of it. Okay, so now we're going to mash those with the hand masher. We can use a uh, electric mixer if you prefer. Take that, put that right over the top. Kind of spread it out the best you can. I could have probably used two, two of those uh, humongous Kali uh, zucchini that I had.
And I'll take a few uh, tablespoons of butter. We'll get that going in the oven for about 350 for about 20 minutes until the butter's melted and it's a little bit of golden brown uh, crust on the top and then it should be ready for us to have. Well there you have our final product. Our shepherd's pie with zucchini is done. So let's go grab a plate out of there and talk about it in the back room. Hi guys. So we are back. So there you have our final product, our zucchini, uh, ground beef with uh, some vegetables. I don't know how it's going to taste, but I'm sure it tastes really good, I hope. I guess I'm adding about a cup and a half of cheese there just to uh, soak up some of the uh, liquid. Mm. It's really good, guys. So there you have it, another first. So what I'll do is I cut that up into squares and I'll get four meals out of that. So that's my first meal uh, today. This is a keto meal, it's a perfectly healthy meal. Uh, on the mixed vegetables though, it's got a little carrot in there, it's got a little corn in there, but it's not a lot that's gonna matter. So again, if you're true keto, probably not for you, but you can always swap them out with something else like a green bean or something like that. Just as long as it's keto approved. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna finish that. And I'm also having a, uh, this is a um, uh, grape, it's uh, crystal light. And uh, what I did was I took a bottle of Poland Springs water and I took one of those little packages, dumped it in here so I can have something to drink. to get your water in somehow and I don't like flavored I don't I don't like plain water I gotta have flavored water in. but anyways again don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel remember I love you God love you have an amazing day guys